to day 14. I'm a natural in 2010 October, so this year I would have not relaxed my hair um, for six years. I wear my hair like very short um, or in my twist <laughs> or like this. Um, and I want to talk about how my hair has become a part of my freedom um, seeking journey but also my decolonizing journey. Growing up, I really didn't see having my own hair as an option. The only option there was was to fix it because you were almost brought up to believe that your hair was innately bad, um, a problem, um, wild, primitive. And if you had the option, if you had the opportunity um, or resources to fix it, you should fix it. There was something wrong with you and the way you were born to have your hair not fixed. I think it was Marcus Garvey who talks about you know, the kings in our minds rather than the kings in our hair. I don't remember how he put it, but he was basically talking about how our mind is made to believe a certain way of how we see our Africanness and how we see that in the eyes of the colonizers we have internalized this hate or the deception of who we are. And so for me, by wearing my hair as it is, it is a sign of my resistance. Before I didn't really want to say that, I was like, my hair is not political, it's just the way it is. But then I realized being black, being woman, being what I am is a political thing because people like me have been used for so many years to for political gains, right? Like even when you look at campaigns of aid in Africa, it's the women and children that are used. Our bodies are used in this ploys of, of political power. Um, so to reclaim my space and reclaim who I am and to decide how I want to be seen um, is a way to reclaim my existence but also to honor my heritage, to honor my ancestors. So my hair is definitely not just hair, it's a, a crown I bear proudly in whatever state it is. I do not care about so much about having need or having proper hair constantly. Sometimes I do something, but sometimes I don't. But it's about wearing myself with pride. It's about being who I am unapologetically, taking up freaking space. That is also what my hair is about. And the more I fall in love with who I am learning I am, the more I fall in love with every aspect of me that the things I was made to hate about myself. And I realized there was never anything wrong with us, you know, it was just our minds that needed straightening out, not our hair. So, yeah, but I'll make a video about this where I go more in detail about this. Otherwise, I wish you the best. I hope you're embracing yourself as you are, unapologetically. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye! Then I go home and make a video about things I care about, and then I put them up there, right?